Hello everyone, today we're going to have a look at how to make a reddit to Instagram bot that basically downloads posts from reddit and uploads them to an Instagram page. So let's get right into it. So this is going to be my bot account that's going to be acting as our meme page. And the subreddit from which I'm going to download the reddit post to upload to Instagram is going to be our tag memes. I'm making a meme page, however you can make whatever you want, the procedure would be same. Just make the small tweaks required. Firstly, you would need to install two packages. So just copy this, go to your terminal or command prompt and install this package and this package red download 3.1.1 make sure you do not download any older version it should be at least 3.1.1 the link will be in the description down below once you uh, once you've downloaded them you're good to go so i have this empty folder here i just have this password.txt file which stores the password to my instagram page um, because I'm going to be recording, um, I have stored in a file. You do, you do not need to do this. So let's begin by importing few libraries that we will use in our project. So these two libraries are the ones we just installed. And these three are inbuilt Python packages. You do not need to install them manually. So, once you have imported these five modules, let's think about how we're going to make this bot. So, for the first step, we need to download posts from Reddit, and we're going to be using the Red Downloader package. This basically allows you to download posts using Reddit APIs without having your own Reddit bot, so it's kind of handy. So let's just declare a function, say get mean, and I'm going to say I'm going to declare a variable post equals Red Downloader. dot download by subreddit so the first argument is the subreddit from which you want to download and the second argument is the amount of posts you want to download from that subreddit in my case i just want to download a single post there's two more arguments i'd like to pass the first one being the output this is nothing but just like the output finally and lastly we have a sort by argument in reddit there you can sort the post by th uh, three ways the first one being new it would show the newest post there's hot that would show the ho hottest post from the subreddit and we finally have the top which shows the most upvoted post from that subreddit in my case, I would like to post fresh memes to my Instagram page, so I'm going to say sort by equals to new. However, you, you can tweak this according to your needs. There's another thing we can do with this library, that is to get the author of the post that we downloaded. So I'm just going to say author equals post dot get post authors. Basically, it returns a list with all the authors for the post we have downloaded. In our case, we are just downloading one post, so the length of this list is going to be 1. And to access the author, we can access the zeroth index and it would return as the name of the author for the meme we have downloaded. And finally, I can just say return author. So let's just see this function in use. I'm going to say author equals get mean print author. 
So when I run this code, a one uh, Reddit meme should be downloaded and the original poster's name should be printed out in our console. So let's see what the output is. First, let me just fix this up. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it says successfully downloaded image being long. So if I just check over here, we do actually have a JPEG. And this is the meme that we have downloaded. And if we check our console, it says, wait a damn minute. So let's just verify if that's the most recent post. Let me just refresh my Reddit. And there you go. It just it is the same exact name that we just downloaded. And if you just see their username, it says wait a minute. So well, now we know that it's working. Pretty cool. For now we should just uh, we should just delete this folder. And let's get rid of these two lines. Now, for the second part, we need to sign into Instagram, which is really easy. We're going to be making use of that inst this Instagram API library. So let's just say client. So what this basically does is, um, it takes your username, which is, oh, I think I inputted the wrong username. I think that's my username. Yep, all right. So it takes your username, and for the second argument, you need to put in your password. Of course, because I'm recording this video, I have stored this in a file, otherwise you can just input your password in strings. Alright, um, I'm just reading this file. This would basically return me the password which is stored in this file. And that's it. Yeah, that's it for signing into Instagram. We won't run the code right now, but let's just do this third step. That is prepare the post for uploading. So basically, you might have seen that you need to use hashtags for getting your post into other people's feed. So that's what we're going to work on here. Let's just say captions and make it an empty list. Okay, so now we have a list with three elements with three different sets of hashtags. We are going to be using them in our post you can add as many captions as you want, um, it doesn't really matter. Now let's work on the fourth and the most important part that is to upload the post. So let's just say, let's just make a loop while true. Basically you don't want to upload a post and stop the execution of the program. You want to upload a post, make your bot sleep for some time and upload another post. So that's that's something helpful. So I made a while true loop and I'm going to get um, I'm gonna say author equals get me. So firstly as you I had shown you earlier we are going to download a meme and uh, store the original poster's name here. Alright uh, anyway so I'm just gonna say so I'm just going to say author equals to get me. Basically, we're downloading the post and storing the version poster's name in this variable. Secondly, what we can do actually do is um, I'm going to make a function. Let's just say def define generate generate caption.
I'm going to put this list inside it and I'm going to call random dot run choice captions and let's just return this basically every time I call this function it's going to give me a random set of hashtags so now I can just come down here and say hashtags equals generate uh, generate caption and let's just say caption now equals to credits to author and our I'm going to leave a space here let's just say caption um, wait my bad hashtags so this string is going to be formatted with the name of the poster and it's going to leave a line and then it's going to format with a random set of hashtags from this list now we have if you have got everything now we just need to upload it so I'm just gonna say client dot photo underscore upload you need to provide the path to the photo in our case my output file is called as me so and if every time you download anything from this red downloader library it makes a folder with your output variable name and then stores the pictures inside it starting from one two three basically if I just download the post it's going to create a meme directory and the meme inside it is going to be called as meme1.jpg so obviously my path is going to be meme slash meme1.jpg make sure you type in jpeg nothing else otherwise it won't work now for the caption I can just type in caption now this basically should work uh, but uh, the thing is we don't want to keep continuously uploading the post so I'm going to make my bot sleep for about five minutes so I'm going to type in 5 into 60 uh, actually I'm, I'm going to increase it to 15 actually now let's just test run this I'm going to run this file I think I missed something. Open past.txt. Read. Read. So guys, I went ahead and figured out that we have made a mistake over here. Um, I'm just going to cut this part. We have to actually type in client dot login and paste, and now it should work. So let's the, let's run this file in Python. Bit random module has no attribute run choice oh of course it doesn't have run choice it's called as choice let's just delete this meme folder and try again So guys, we have downloaded the meme and I think it has also uploaded the post because the execution of program has seemed to have been ceased. So let's just check out what the, let's just check out if we, yep, that, that's the meme we just uploaded. So this is one meme, uh, let's just check this thing out. It says credits to other defiance with some hashtags we copied so it did post 
um let's just check on reddit if we can verify it yep there you go the same meme and we have the original poster as well so this seems to be working now you might be thinking that's the end of it but there's actually a lot of um, areas that you can potentially face the thing is reddit has a lot of aspect ratios for uploading the post but Instagram is strict with them so sometimes just trying to upload an image with a bad aspect ratio uh, well it can it can give you some errors so to fix them you should just always use So this, uh, you can just make some print statements according to your needs to see where the execution is going. Um, there's one more thing you need to do. If this loop will actually run for just once because the second time you download a meme, it's going to download the same meme with same meme1.jpg name. And when it sees that there's already a meme with same name, same name, there's going to be a conflict and you're program is going to stop um, that's why I've been downloading these meme folders but it's time we actually make a function that cleans up this folder automatically every time a post is uploaded so let's just go here define cleanup If you're thinking why I placed this line of code inside a trial block as well is because sometimes it may happen that one of the posts on the your subreddit is actually a link basically red downloader only downloads the files that are hosted on reddit not from sites like Imgur or YouTube so sometimes it may return you an error and no post is downloaded and if there's no post uh, to remove, this block of code could give you an error. So it's just a safety measure. Once you have done this, you're actually ready. Now you can just run this code and let's just both try and upload another meme. I'm just going to say print sleeping here. So we know this command go away. All right, so we have this meme. And yep, there it goes. It says posted. Um, so I'm just going to close this program. Let's head back to our Instagram. This is the image from earlier on. And sure enough, we have this third post. Credits to human banner besser. And this is the meme. So as you can see, it's working. So that's where this bot is ready. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to upload this to some cloud service such as Heroku or Python anywhere. If you'd like a video on that, write down in the comment section. Otherwise, this much is pretty much good enough. So, peace out.